universe was created in 1952. It is an international beauty pageant where all countries around the world are so very welcome to join this beautiful big event. It is run by the United States based Miss Universe organization as of 1952 was held in Long Beach, California. The first winner of Miss Universe was no less than Army Kuzela from Finland. However, she gave up her title to get married shortly before her year was completed. Here we can see and we can truly say that Lo truly really wins. Moving forward, I'll share with you the top 10 countries that join Miss Universe pageant and in which, in my own opinion, should deserve to be in the top 10. Starting all the way from Southeast Asia, from my very own hometown, Philippines! For me, Philippines would be my number one, or should I say top one on the list. Of course, because of its people's undeniably character of hospitality, caring, thoughtfulness, and responsibility. Filipino women like me <laughs> are very capable and up par with regards to beauty pageants such as this Miss Universe. And another reason would be because of its substantial performance in terms of walking. The last time I remember Shamsi Subsid, the third runner-up of Miss Universe 2011, was known by her tsunami walk, which everybody truly admired it. We also have the Pilapil walk from Venus Raft, the Halabira walk from Pia Wurzbeck, who actually won the Miss Universe in 2015. And of course, the Lava Walk of our beloved Miss Universe 2018, Miss Catriona Gray. Owing to the fact that the Filipinas are really sharp, brilliant when it comes to Q&A portion, and of course, in its ravishing, heavenly, sophisticated beauty. And I'm proud to be a Pinoy. Next is Venezuela. It is known that this country has gained the most number of tiles in big four international pageant with 23 victories. Venezuela is undeniably incredible for having the best women who joined the Miss Universe. The appointed Miss Universe from Venezuela who won the Miss Venezuela 2021. Luis Matra, the 24-year-old actress and model who represented Miranda in last year's competition where she also won the Miss Universe or rather the Miss Solidaridad. Truly an honored woman. I can say that she has certainly the potential and deserves to be included in the top 10 of Miss Universe. Next, Puerto Rico! Puerto Rico, their first win was from 2006, Zuleika Rivera. And after two years in 2009, Myra Mattis made it to the top five as the fourth runner-up. For me, Puerto Rico has this sassiness an attitude on stage, the charisma, the appeal, and certainly deserves to be in the top 10. You have the potential girl, and as I've watched some of their Q&A portions, Puerto Rico is indeed great at answering questions, and they are always on point. And you can tell that their knowledge is incredible. The last first runner-up in Miss Universe 2019 is Madison Anderson. She has these qualities like being good in interviews and being active in doing charity works, beauty with a purpose. And also, she has the platform which she wants to help all women who are survivors and suffered from domestic violence. This kind of mindset is undoubtedly great. Amazing Miss Puerto Rico. Next. Mexico! The country also produced a great number of beauty pageant winners such as the current title holder, Andrea Meza. She won Miss Universe 2020. She is as stunning, as beautiful, she is gorgeous, and very lively the way she walks. 
from her costume to swimsuit and to her evening gown, which is really a vivid red color, I see her someone full of delightfulness in life. Despite having the pandemic, she managed to communicate to other people using social media platforms for her to spread her advocacy as a woman. That's magnanimous, Miss Mexico. Indeed, candidates from Mexico are really breathtaking for they have this confidence and how knowledgeable they are in everything. Fabulous, Miss Mexico. And as for our top six, it is South Africa, which actually won the Miss Universe 2019, Susbini Tinsi, after having the title last 2017. South Africa owned it again. Everything in South Africa is unique from head to toe. They look perfect, really perfect for me. And also the way they smile, very lively and very breathtaking. In the last Miss South Africa, I loved how Ms. Shudufadza Musida answered the question from Miss Universe 2019. My question for you is, in the past year, we've witnessed a global wave of mass demonstrations against gender-based violence and the Black Lives Matter movement. If you could mobilize a group of people, what movement would you mobilize and why? I would call my movement the Mindful Movement. Suicide is one of the leading causes of death between pe people aged 15 and 29. Um, one in three people are expected to suffer from mental illnesses in their lifetime. So I believe that mobilizing people to strive for mental health would actually fix so many social ills in our society. And that is what I would mobilize. Thank you. It's amazing. The answer was straight to the point. It is very inspiring if ever South Africa's new representative will be included as one of my top 10 in Miss Universe. Then I'd be very, very glad. Seven is India. Last year in Miss Diva 2020, Adeline Castellino won the title and was appointed as the representative of Miss Universe 2020. In Miss Diva 2020, there's this common question for all top five finalists, which is... Does religion unite or divide people? Kya dharam logo mein ekta jagata hai? Ya madved peda karta hai? Religion definitely unites people. It has values that bring people together. People believing in the same things come together and stay in harmony. Me coming from Kuwait, when I first came to India, I really love the fact that all religions stay together in harmony. We celebrate Diwali, Christmas, Eid all together. And what a beautiful scene that is. That we can stay together, respect each other's belief and be in harmony. And progress with each other forward to the future. Thank you. Despite having different religions, she believed that this won't be the reason for us to divide. Instead, it is the way for us to understand each other and everyone, and also the respect. Adeline Castellino is not just an intelligent woman and open to every situation, but she is also beautiful and breathtaking. She actually became the third runner-up in Miss Universe 2020. India may conquer it again, or better than that, in Miss Universe 2021. We will see. For the top eight, I picked Colombia. They have this strong appeal on stage. And the way they scream their name and the way they cheer their own country, it is spectacular. Like every candidate from Colombia does have this kind of personality. And I think having it one of their qualities truly has an impact on the audience. They always have the potential, Miss Colombia. I could say that the last Miss Universe 2015, which was really a kind of disaster, but ended beautifully. Ariadna Gutierrez, who was mistakenly announced as the Miss Universe in 2015. Her performance and answer in every question were in fact on point. And I think she really deserves to be the first runner-up in 2015. I am actually amazed 
by her because she handled it gracefully despite what happened and that is the reason why I picked Colombia to be included in my top 10. Their strong personality helps them grow as a woman that may inspire everyone, most especially the younger generation. Second to the last is Brazil. Since 2011, when Priscilla Machado became the second runner-up, Brazil has consecutively made it to the top 20 and top 5 as well. And the Miss Universe 2020 first runner-up is from Brazil, Julia Gama. Her national costume caught my attention. It is something new to me and other candidates from Brazil in the last few years. Their national costume will be forever good in the eyes of everyone. It is as if these national costumes were made to be perfect and to be the center of attraction. In terms of evening gowns, most of them used silver color for the final look and I think it suits them very well given how beautiful they are, sexy, and they shine at their best. Most of the candidates from Brazil have this powerful walk. It's like they're paving their way and that's how it should be. Very queenly, that's exactly how a Miss Universe should walk. Don't you think so? In addition, I like Julia's answer when she was asked. In many countries, women are still considered incapable of being world leaders. Convince these countries that they're wrong. Women are such an important part of this society and just because we are not encouraged in the same way that it means are we are have we have our potential wasted the world need women contributions because we came for some reason and i invite every woman to understand that we are the leaders of our lives and yes we can do a lot for our communities so please take your power and for the last one, Peru! Regardless of not having consecutive wins or placements in Miss Universe, the 2020 representative of Peru, Chanik Maceta, still made it to the top 5 finalists and became the second runner-up. I chose Peru as one of my top 10 candidates, or should I say one of the best of the best because I believe that the next representative can make it. And even way better, let's say. I think Janik Maceta has paved the way for every aspiring beauty queen in Peru, which is really great. Since Peru hasn't been included in the top five finalists ever since Gladys Zender won the Miss Universe in 1957. It's been years and I think in the next few years, Peru will shine and will soon own the crown. Peru, that's great for them. And that is my top 10 countries for Miss Universe. So for everyone, what do you think are the qualities of a Miss Universe? Well, for me, of course, having confidence in yourself. It is important to be confident the way you talk, the way you walk, the way you project yourself and embrace yourself. Second is having a winning attitude. It's like you're telling everyone that you deserve this crown. You deserve to be the Miss Universe. And that will show up through your performance. Miss Universe is not simply a title that one should hold. It's a big responsibility that one must carry for the whole year. And a Miss Universe must be ready to take that responsibility head on. That's all. I hope you like this vlog and learned something about Miss Universe. If ever, you're not that aware of this pageant. Thank you! Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more pageantry vlogs. Here in Vava Ihang! Shala! Vote for your favorite candidates now on the comment section down below.